and welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for the segment. Along with me is Heather Freeman from the UNR Extension Office. And we're going to be talking about, since we're 15 days away at the day that we're taping this from our annual Earth Day, Arbor Day event on April 20th this year, uh, we're going to be talking about that, and you'll see, you'll hear this same segment next week too. <laughs> we'll drill it into your heads. Plus, it'll be on the in the PV Times uh, for for Wednesday, Friday for the next two weeks. So then you shouldn't have any excuse not knowing about it. And it'll be on. Uh, what do you call that thing when it's on the internet? It's called social media. Social media. Yes. Yep. Facebook. We're going to flood. The, we're going. We're going to flood the the market with that too. And uh, that's okay because every day is Earth Day. It should be. Really, it should be. Don't get me started on that. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be talking about that today. We, you're going to see the flyers around town and on social media. Let's show it to them. There you go. All right. Do you want? speak on this a little? Sure. Um, one of the exciting things that we're going to have this year back again is the Assured uh, Secure Document Shredding Truck. Um, so that works out great. We Tax day just finished up with that. So um, according to the rules, you can get rid of things that are past seven years. I think some things you have to keep longer than that. But um, So what we're going to be doing this year, we're going to have it there from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the Bob Rood Community Center and it's Saturday, April 20th. And it's we have some tips to make your <laughs> shred day a success. That's right. Do you want to do number one? Sure. Um, so if, when you bring your secure documents to shred, please don't bring them in a plastic bag. That's the theme of this year's Earth Day is the planet versus plastics. So don't bring them in a plastic bag. Uh, cardboard box is okay. You can bring them in a plastic tub that you'll take back with you. Um, take them out of any kind of binder or folder because those things just don't shred very well. Yes. Uh, participants are responsible for disposing of their own containers um, unless you, I don't think we contracted with the box truck. They're no, just, just going to shred the documents yeah, only. The car is going to be relatively close to that. Yep. So. Item the second item is that you should remain with your documents until because they're secure mm -hmm. until the shared driver loads the documents into the shred carts as they assume no responsibility for unattended documents. So it's up it's up to you until it gets into the truck That's and, right. that, and then that uh, dragon just chomps it down and burns it up. But anyway, I don't nope. think it burns it up. But doesn't anyway. burn it. But it's kind of fun. Uh, Last time the Assured truck was at Earth Day, mm -hmm. I was able to bring boxes from home and there's just something exciting about dumping that whole box into their um, container and watching the container go flip up into the truck and hear it just shred to pieces. Yes. Um, they do only send one staff member and that staff member will load the shredding bin and operates the truck. You don't get to push the buttons or anything. Um, but they will do everything possible to keep up with the shred day. So um, I know that there is a limit to how many boxes they can do, the, but they're there for the four hours. Right. The truck holds 300 uh, containers of uh, documents, paper documents. If the first person comes there that day with 300 boxes. Oh my goodness. I don't think so. <laughs> the truck's leaving after they shreds all that. So. I don't think we'll have people like that. Uh, if you have three, four, five boxes, uh, remember they'll be there four hours, and uh, three they they can ingest digest three hundred uh, boxes uh, from you. Yep. So only assured uh, employees are able to load the shred carts, so they're trained to monitor for non-shred items that could cause a fire. That's right. They do keep a pretty close eye and make sure what you're dumping into their. That's an expensive cart. truck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they cannot and will not issue individual receipts. So, if you bring something that you might need a receipt to prove that you've shredded it, they don't have time to do that during the shred event day. You might be able to get information like a business card from the driver, though, 
if you have something that you need to contract privately with them, I'm sure they'd be able to do that on another day when they're out um, shredding for one of the local businesses. Yes, and we were supposed to talk about 300 copy boxes. I already talked about that. I jumped the gun. So the assured document destruction has made every effort to provide an accurate estimate of the information provided to you. And no matter if three people come there or 300 people come there with one box each, we paid for the truck already at one yeah. price. So, so please bring, bring your documents. Let me get my, let, let's get our money's worth. Exactly, yep. Yes. Um, so no, what is it saying about them? It says no cardboard, no cardboard, no cardboard. So if, even if you bring your documents in the cardboard box, they're gonna tip that into their cart and you get to take the cardboard box back with you to reuse. All right, so now let's head on to other things that are happening. What's ha what else is happening at the Bob Root Community Center, which has, is at the corner of Basin and State Road 160? Mm -hmm. um, well, the theme is the planet versus plastic, so there will be a lot of education about um, how we should be trying to use less plastic. Um, if you're faced with the choice at the store, uh, please bring your own reusable tote. You can reuse that hundreds of times and then it doesn't take a plastic bag or a paper bag. If you forget your tote, I haven't been refused yet. I will park my cart to the side, ask an employee, can I come back and check this through? I'm running, gonna run out and grab my bags. No one's ever said no, they're happy to do that. And also on the the pay, uh, flyer here, it says the first 200 people get a free shopping tote. That's correct, <clears throat> yep. To, um, to par partially replace the plastic bags that you get. Now, if you go to Smith's, you have the option of getting the, the brown paper bags if you true. bend over and reach for them. Mm -hmm. So I do that as much as I can. And uh, I don't think the other places do that, or do they? The you Albertson? know, I haven't. I haven't looked for them in other places. Um, yeah, I don't see that at uh, a uh, few times Home lately. Depot either. Uh, one of our local big box stores has not had plastic bags available. Now what's with that? Jeez. The cart or the truck that delivers didn't bring anymore, and so they were run out. Um, so all the more reason to just get in the habit of using your own totes when you go shopping, even when you go to Home Depot or any store. Just Keep a few of those reusable totes under your seat. When you get out to go into the store, grab one or two. It also helps you limit if you have a list and you know that you want to stick to that list if you only brought two totes in. It keeps you from putting extra things in your cart that you hadn't planned on buying because they won't fit in the tote. Well, my wife usually has about five or six in the back of the, uh, the truck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and she chides me if I don't bring them in and use them. But I go for the, the paper bags whenever I can. So we're going to have other items out there we're going to be giving out. The, the, there are going to be non-plastic wooden cutting boards. We're going to have two of those we'll be giving away because there's a problem with plastic cutting boards. And if you want to find out more about that, well, you can go online and find out for yourself. But you could talk to us about that. And during the course of the day, I guess we'll give out tickets for them, uh, the, the cutting boards. They're bamboo, so uh, we'll give away two of those for you. We'll have, I'll be doing solar cooking demonstration outside. S permitted. Weather permitting. <laughs> weather, sun permitting, yes. Uh, we will also be doing. Uh, Free drawings for re trees and other giveaways. Oh, the, the, the prickly pear ladies, they, they, I asked them to come to the, this event this year and they said, sure, so we could make or copycat orange Juliuses again. They went over real big last year. so They were delicious smoothies. They're going to be inside the uh, Bob Root Community Center in the, the pass-through by the, the kitchen over there, mm -hmm. just chugging away, chuggling, chugging away. Well, you'll be chugging away at the smoothies over there. And of course... You'll be serving Chicago style hot dogs and yes. Fritos chili pie, which if you're from the Midwest, um, we call them walking tacos. You do. Delicious. But here's, here's a Chicago style hot dog. Do I have the right way? You do. Yes. So. 
and small donation appreciated to cover the recovery costs for that food. Yes. So, so the, all the Fritos, chili pie has the bag of Fritos, chili, shredded cheese, diced onion, and I have my, we'll be passing out a wooden fork so you could eat that with a wooden fork. That's great. Yes. So those are some of the things that we'll be giving away and there's um, also some um, trees and shrub. Trees and shrub information, and we will be doing um, some scheduled talks in the back room at the community center. Um, short presentations on vermicomposting, irrigating raised beds, uh, creating a gardening journal, and I believe Tamlin Taylor from Coalition is going to be talking about the gleaning program and some of her healthy uh. eating smart choices programs that she teaches there. I know the garden club is also going to be there. Um, the master gardeners table uh, will have information and free seeds. Um, ways to join our mailing email list so that you can get notified when there's classes coming up. Um, you've got U.S. Fish and Wildlife coming, Death Valley Natural History Association, um, Don't forget Home Depot. We finally contacted them. Oh, good. They are coming. Yay. All right. And Nevada Rural Water Association, we're going to be talking about Basin 162. 162 water question and answers. We'll be having that. We'll be giving you free, uh, the ability to have free sampling of your water quality. Oh, that's great. We have the Southern Nye County Conservation District has a certain amount of funds. We'll take down your name and email address and phone number so you can call us. And if we have the funds available, we'll contact you. And then we will send somebody that does this uh, all, the, all the time. And cool. uh, they will be uh, sampling your water, take it into a laboratory in Las Vegas. And, and we can also get information about a rebate for oh. installing low water use toilet fixtures, correct? Yes, you can do that with Nye County and you can do it with the Great Basin Water Company. So That's great. Everybody there's needs a, a lot of information. A rebate and a discount. So we hope to see you there, That's Heather and myself. Saturday, April 20th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Bob Rudd Community Center, Earth Day Arbor Day. Yes, thank you.